Hi everyone and welcome back to my first impressions videos of this sample set from M. Mikhaev. In the last video I tried these four ones on the first page and in this video I'm gonna try these next four ones. So let's just start and go through them and see what I think of them. So first we have this Ananda and the notes in this one, top notes, lemon, plum, pear and black currant. And in the heart we have rose, mimosa, violet, ylang ylang and jasmine. And then in the base we have vanilla, mimosa and white musk. So let's just spray it on and see what I think. Mm, there it is, and let's start sniffing. Mm, it's really beautiful and uh, kind of uh, soapy in a good way, I think. And it's definitely floral with a fruity uh, vibe, if I could say it like that, like it's more floral, but it's definitely fruity as well. Mm, and it has a lot of uh, vanilla and mimosa in the base, I can sense, and then it's paired up with these beautiful full flowers, like uh, a soft pink rose scent or white roses maybe, it's like a very uh, very soft rose and it has some sweetness in it and I guess that's the ylang ylang and uh, the vanilla of course and, and when it comes to the fruits it's hard to say which ones I can sense because it's like more like a fruity vibe instead of a lot of different notes that's like sticking out. Mm, but it's really really beautiful. So let's just come back to that in the end like we did in the last video. And if you haven't seen the last video I will link it down in the description box so you can find it there. So let's just go to sample number two and that is this royal vintage. This bottle looks awesome. Yeah, so the top notes is bergamot and pink berries. And then in the heart we have cypress and leather. And in the base we have musk and patchouli. So let's spray it on, if I can get it out of this pamphlet. There it is. Oops, sprayed on my t-shirt instead of my arm. Mm. Oh, this reminds me of something, but I can't think of what it is. It's really, really le leathery and uh, it still has that like green vibe going through. Mm, yeah, it's mostly leather, the green cypress and bergamot, I think. Because it also has that like uh, fresh and citrusy vibe in it. Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so... Mm, I feel so comfortable wearing this scent. It is... I don't know what word I should use, <laughs> it's like very... Mm, it's really sexy and I love that uh, mix of the green note and the leather. That is, oh, so sexy. Now I can also sense the fruitiness from the pink berries. And uh, I think they go very, we very well together with the darker note of the leather. 
And I can also start sensing the patchouli now because it gets a little little bit of that vibe from uh, uh, the vibe you get in Angel from Theory Muglay. It's not as uh, dark and dirty as Angel, uh, as the Angel patchouli, but the mix of leather and patchouli is really great in here. So it has that like uh, dark and mysterious vibe, but at the same time it has that uh, berry and fresh vibe. So oh, it's so awesome! Perfect blended. So let's. Come back to that as well, and then let's go to sample number three, and that is watch. And the top notes is plum, peach, and tangerine. And in the heart we have ylang ylang, jasmine, neroli, and tuberose. And then in the base we have vanilla and white musk. This sounds really beautiful, so let's just spray it on. Ooh. Oh, it's so... Uh, like... Oh, it's such a happy scent. It uh, It's very, like... Uh, uh, soft and uh, suede like but not suede but uh, very that softness and it has something I remember from my childhood as well <laughs> I don't know if if it is something that reminds me of those like uh, scented pens or if it's like uh, the scented rubbers or erasers or what you call them oh it's something from my childhood but i'm not sure what it is and it's definitely very fruity and uh, mixed with uh, like the sweetness from vanilla and it's also very very floral and I think it's the tuberose that's the main player in this fragrance actually. I yeah it's it has some similarities with the uh, carnal flower from Frederick Mal, which I actually tried yet which I actually tried yesterday and got in love with immediately so I'm gonna talk about that in an upcoming video but yeah let's go back to this one it has a lot of tuberose and uh, I can al also feel the vanilla as I said and uh, the fruits in the top mm, so beautiful I really really love this and uh, Let's just see how it develops and come back to that in a little while. Mm, so beautiful. And then let's go to the last one. And that is Ilang. And this one has the top notes Sage, Rosemary and Artemisia. And in the heart we have Mint, Magnolia and Ilang Ilang. And then in the base we have coconut, musk and moss. This sounds really interesting. It's don't I don't really know how this will smell from uh, just reading the notes. So let's just spray it on. Oh, this is very interesting and uh, very different. It definitely has some uh, uh, it has some similarities with uh, the last tent watch and uh, I guess that's the flory part the floral part of the scent mm, but it's so beautiful it has that uh, like uh, 
Well, I don't know what it is. It's... Uh, I guess it's a mix of mint and coconut that I have never sensed in any fragrance before and it gives it that uh, whole new aspect of it. Like, I have never sensed anything like it before and it's really beautiful and it's hard to pick out the notes from each other because it feels like one scent instead of just a bunch of uh, notes that's sticking out and I thought it was going to be more like green and uh, like herbal but it's not. <laughs> I'm surprised with that since the sage and rosemary is in the top notes. Mm, it's so beautiful. It uh, It is very sweet and uh, I guess it's the ylang ylang that makes it so sweet. And yeah, since it's called ylang, I guess it's that's what, what I feel. Mm, and it starts getting uh, like very, uh, I don't know how to say, like very skin-like, like it's a perfect skin scent, but not a skin scent, like it doesn't smell, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, so beautiful, and uh, there is definitely ylang ylang coconut and mint in it, but the mint is very like very light, not, I can almost not say that it is mint, but I get that like mintiness mixed with the other notes. It like makes the scent a little bit more upbeat and, uh, oh, so cool. So let's just come back to this in a few minutes uh, and uh, let's go back to the first one again. So we started this video with Ananda and uh, oh it has changed a bit and uh, I think the musk is starting to appear more, the white musk and it's still very floral and with a bit of fruitiness in it. I'm not sure if this is a scent I'm gonna wear. I don't think so. I don't uh, think this is my kind of fragrance, so to speak, but it's really beautiful. But I think it's a little bit too floral and musky for my scent for my taste, but it's definitely a really beautiful fragrance. So let's go to the next one, and that was Royal Vintage. Mm, it's still this like suppressant leather that uh, runs the show, so to speak, and it has that patchouli that gives it a little darker vibe and and now the bergamot and pink berries has uh, calmed down a bit, so now it's mostly cypress leather and patchouli. It's really exciting and really like dark and sexy and oh, I really like this one. So I will definitely try Royal Vintage some more. And then the third one was Watch. And it definitely has that tuberose and the sweetness from the Ylang Ylang and the vanilla. And it's really beautiful and uh, it's so likeable and uh, yeah, very very beautiful. So I, I will definitely try this one again as well, just like the Royal Vintage I just mentioned. And then the last, fourth and last one in this video was Ylang. And it definitely has that ylang ylang note, as you can hear from the name. And it hasn't changed that much since I sprayed it on. 
and uh, the main players, as I said, is definitely the Lang Lang, the mint, and the coconut. But the mint is just there. It's not like sticking out. It just gives a little um, a fresher vibe to it. Like yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful, and it has that similarity to Watch, and I think it's the Ilang Ilang that gives it that like sweet and likable scent that uh, I can sense in both of them. So, yeah, that was all for this video, and I will definitely try this some more, and I'll maybe do like proper reviews with some of them. So, it would be nice to hear what you think of uh, the brand M. Mikhaev, and if you have tried any of these fragrances. And as I said in the beginning, this is part two of these first impressions. So I tried four other fragrances from M. Mikhaev in my last video. You can find the link to that video in the description, and I would love it if you want to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'd love to uh, discuss these fragrances in the comments. So if you have tried them or if you are very curious of them, just let me know and I'll hear from you in the comments. So take care, have a lovely day, bye!